Hello gamers, I was playing quite a few games on my own and I decided I might as well record some gameplay. As you can see here, I'm just playing some good old TS Papyrus. He's at his limit. Oh no! I've been killing this person for a while, so I'm not surprised they eventually hit their limit. There we go. They kept trying to spare me, but I don't really advise trying to spare people who are not willing to spare you. That's just my personal belief though. There we go. And now we're going to keep the TS Papyrus coming. That's an interesting way to avoid attacks, but it's working. Oh, it was working. Now it isn't. Maybe a box or two of bones will help. Here we go. Still trying to win. Yeah, we're gonna have to fix that one. Cease living. There we go. And now for their teammate. There we go. Oh boy, looks like we get to face TS Papyrus. This is gonna be a blast. Let's head over here and have some fun with him. For our first trick, I'm going to attempt to end his life. Keyword, attempt. There we go. I landed a whole hit, and it only costed me 30 health. At this rate, I'm gonna win. Of course, you only need to land one hit to kill a foe. Heck, some characters can die without a you attacking, and by some I mean all of them. You just have to hope you have better teammates than the way you're playing if you're not attacking. There we go. I got that one hit in. Everything's working out now. Keep up the pressure. There we go. This fellow attacked me while I was pressing report and they did it again. This person is so rude. I think I need to find a skeleton to make into a corpse. Whoa! You know what? Maybe we got off on the wrong bone. Tell you what. After I tear you to pieces, I'll forgive you for attacking me. Come on. Wait, I'm playing with real squirrel 312? Guys, this is a real squirrel I'm playing with. You know those fake squirrels you hear about on the news? This isn't a- this is a real squirrel. I have to win for real squirrel's sake? I can't let real squirrel down. Here we go. We're gonna tear apart revenge. I wouldn't call it new. In fact, it's pretty far from new. Oh wow, they so they tricked me so much by standing still and letting me take a huge chunk of their health. They really got me good there. I totally wouldn't have done that exchange if they had asked. There we go. Yeah, you see, you probably should have waited for a better time to trick me. One where you don't lose all of your health? Usually when I try to trick people, I usually intend on doing it in a way that causes me to win. Your method seems to cause you to lose. And now, we have a couple more foes to engage. Allow me to place that down. Yeah, you can keep trying to spare, but while you're sparing over there, 
I'm gonna be trying to end your life. And now for our grand act, bones everywhere. Real squirrel, the realest of squirrels still alive, gamers. Oh boy, we're facing a character that isn't useless, Arik. I guess I'll engage them. It's been ages. How do I even fight characters that aren't Little Tail in science? Like, do I need to do some kind of ritual? I can take out my candles, but I don't believe I have any sacrifices. Where did I put my book on fighting characters that aren't worthless? Alright, page one. Is your opponent the fearsome little tail? No, uh, not post buff science. Definitely not uh, disbelief. Not T.S. Papyrus. Gotta keep going through this book. Are they AFK? Here we go. They are AFK. So. I didn't even get to the part where they're a threat in the book. I guess I'll just have to kill them. There we go. And now we go back to our regularly scheduled winning. I see that someone's trying to kill me. Allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Like about being about to die. Or fighting T.S. Papyrus. Feeling like there's no chance of you winning. This must be what you're feeling. Alright. I managed to press record before they attempted to obliterate me. That's good. But what's not good is the fact that they could be a threat if I mess up. So let's try not to mess up. What did they try to ask? They didn't ask to win. I can't tell what they asked. Can I kill you please, spare? That doesn't make much sense. Like if they didn't say spare, I would believe they said can I kill you please? But because of the fact that they blatantly didn't, I'm gonna ignore the fact that I just casually bounced off that bomb there. Spare, 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 spare. Yeah, spamming the chat like that doesn't get annoying ever. No. Please obliterate them. Come on, darn it. Worth a shot. There we go. Another. Yeah, I don't think you... Really? I mean, if you insist? But seriously, I'm a little tired of these free wins. It'd be appreciative... Appreciated if you were to try to win. But that's enough of this round. Here we go. We're going... To go for all the moves. We gotta keep them moving. No breaks for them. Alright, you've made it awfully close to me. Nice job. Unfortunately, end of the line. Real squirrel, you could have lived a life of peace in your tree. Instead, you chose to engage me in combat. I see how it is. Your tree wasn't good enough for you. 
Well, I was close friends with old Oki, so I'm going to have to seek revenge for you abandoning them. Prove to me you can survive without your tree. What will you do if you face a, an aggressive skeleton? Exactly. You'll have to die to the skeleton because you're not prepared to fight an aggressive skeleton. See? Look at that. Look at how much damage they're taking from a single aggressive skeleton. Wait a minute. Something doesn't seem right here. I got it. It's because they're dead. Let's get going. This time around, we're facing After Tail. After Tail, Meat Knife, or Don't. There you go. Now, what are you gonna do? Now that I have my fearsome blade. on get over here wait a minute what am i doing i can just walk over and hit them i don't need to overcomplicate things with jumping and dodging see no special moves required i just hold down w and click on left click when i'm near them you heard me i'm clicking on left click GG. And now I engage my foes in combat, but something seems different. What could it be? Could it be the fact that I have numerous enemies refusing to actually fight me? No way, right? There's no way I have multiple enemies that aren't even trying to engage me in combat. Well, if you give up, I'd really appreciate it if you would stand there and take it. Because I have people to kill, and if you're in my way, it will take longer for me to kill those people. There we go. Now I'm talking about something we can do. That being your right to kill people with Pan. It's that easy. Here we go. Well, that was a close one. Good thing I didn't go another step further before hitting record. I did hit record, right? I did. So this person here is accusing me Helping the enemy team. Their reasoning is that because I'm not making the enemy team lose enough stamina, I'm helping them because in a hypothetical world I'd be draining more stamina. Which is technically right, I suppose. I'm not playing perfectly. Perhaps we should only let perfect players in. That'd be my recommendation. You know, perfect Undertale last corridor would be interesting to see for at least a little bit. I'm not sure how long it would hold up for obvious reasons. But hey, isn't the concept interesting? Kind of like a tool assisted speedrun? There we go. Time to begin eradication. I mean, if you're just going to stand there and take it, I'm not going to complain. I'm kind of in the middle of a match though, could you like go in a corner and stand in some bones while I kill the actual threats? I mean, they aren't exactly being threats, they lose most of their health before I even start attacking them, but that's beside the point. Where were we? Right, Q. 
killing this fellow? There we go. Oh. I mistakenly thought I killed them, when in fact I did not. There we go. And the matches keep coming. Really uninteractive gameplay. I don't know why I'm bothering this character. But I'm playing him. I do have something to show after this match. Since the last time I showcased experience, I've gained some more experience on a few characters. There we go. Gameplay commences once more. I believe the killer knife has given up. There we go. And now we see blueberry. What a marvelous thing Blueberry is. Fear not Blueberry, for I will strike you down, that way you will not become impure. Here we go. Wrap that up, GG. Here goes something. All of the moves at once. Then we get a bone zone, another bone zone, just keep the bone zones coming, there we go, well we got rid of the one fellow, now we just need to kill this fellow. That shouldn't be a problem, because look at them. They're already dead. I really didn't want to face this character, and now I'm facing this character. I'm just gonna go in the corner and endure my punishment. Wow, more than 50 seconds, that's pretty rare actually for someone who isn't using any high tier equipment. Like, they're actually hanging on for a really long period of time. I'm kind of impressed. But I'm not impressed about how they keep getting near me, get away from me. Go find your own hiding spot where they can't see you. In just a few seconds we get another healing item. So now that they've seen how they only have 110 seconds to land six hits on me, surely they're going to realize it's surely impossible and elect to spare me instead.
Don't you want to be friends? Come on, let's team. Don't you want a team? No team? Alright. Alright. This is annoying. Like, memeing aside, this character is really dumb. Here they go again, the old trying to kill me trick. It never works, but they keep trying it. Yeah, you're not the only one who can land hits on people. Just a reminder, that little hit I gave you. Oh no. Draw. And now the match commences. This isn't very fair, is it? Yeah, I kind of feel bad for these fellows. I'll complete the match and then end everything. How does that sound? That sounds wonderful. There we go. Now to bring down the last one. There we go. Another down. GG. Wait, they're still alive? Fine. Allow me to use every move. Still? But I used every move. There we go. GG. Well, I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching.